Hey, DC Right Hammer here. I took one year off of social media, and this is what happened. First thing I want to clarify is that this video is about what happened after being off of social media for a year. I will make separate videos on why I did it and how I did it. Next thing, I want to clarify what I mean by off social media. So I never logged in to a social media account, I never posted to a social media account. Unless you count YouTube, I made a couple of comments there. I also got some news on Twitter, uh, but I, again, I didn't log in. I got some news off of Reddit, but it, again, I just logged in publicly. I didn't actually log into any accounts that I had, and I made zero posts, again, other than commenting on a couple of YouTube videos that I thought were interesting. But other than that, I've been completely off of social media, um, and I wanted to make a video uh, after one year to talk about what it's been like, how my life has changed, how it hasn't changed, and just some food for thought. Uh, this video is about my journey. It is not advocating that everyone needs to be off of social media or that you need to take a break or anything like that. I just want to tell my story. Probably the biggest change is that I'm present wherever I am. If I'm at home, if I'm at a social gathering, if I'm even just driving or something like that. Um, I'm focused on where I'm at and what I'm doing and the people around me engaging in conversation with real people that are in front of me. Uh, obviously, people on social media are also real people, except for the bots. Um, but just really being focused on the people around me and that uh, kind of filling up my social tank and uh, not having social media to interfere with that. The next positive change is that FOMO is basically gone for me. And for those who aren't aware, that is the fear of missing out, which is a big thing that happens on social media where you see posts of all kinds of people doing all kinds of things and they're putting their best foot forward, they've got filters on, they've, they're always on vacation, everything is happy and merry, and that can create a lot of dread and things like that for people who maybe don't have a lifestyle like that or can't maintain a social media presence like that. And so for me, that's gone. I don't feel the need to post, I don't feel need, the need to read an entire feed or anything like that. And that has been a huge lift off my shoulders. It's been um, it's allowed me to focus on other things and it just, you know, it's just been one of the best things uh, being off of social media for a year. I don't have to be the social media version of myself. I don't have to try to be witty or funny or post things that are interesting or thought provoking. Those things are okay in, in some capacity, but it's been really relieving not to have to do those things or be responsible. I just get to be myself. I feel like I can concentrate more now, not being on social media, and I've noticed that I'm excelling at my day job and it's actually fulfilling when I put in all the effort that's required and, and the mental cycles and just kind of doing the best work I can do. And over the last year, I gotta say, my anxiety and depression are at all time lows and I'm getting to do things that I've always wanted to do. I'm reading more, watching more uh, good movies and TV shows, spending more time with friends and family, being honest and open. Um, it's just been an awesome experience being off of social media for a year. So what hasn't changed since I've been off social media? Well, life is still hard. Uh, things are happening all around the world, global pandemic, uh, and then just interpersonal stuff. Um, working, you know, a job that is intense and has a lot of demands, family, uh, I've actually moved and I'm preparing to do another move, um, and, uh, you know, life is just hard in general, it can be very difficult sometimes, and so that doesn't change when you get off of social media. In real life re relationships, uh, they've always taken work, um, and they still take work, and I'm able to be there more for friends and family, loved ones. Um, I'm able to allow people to be there more for me because I just have more mental cycles being off of social media. And so, you know, that that has been a change, but those relationships have always taken work 
uh, it's obvious that they take work now and I just have the mental cycles now to actually put forth that work. So what now? Um, well, I mean, social media does have its good uses. There's news, there's friends and family to keep up with, and networking, there's business uses and things like that. But if social media isn't regulated, it can get out of control. It can lead to uh, doom scrolling, compulsive use. It can lead to uh, online abuse and different negative things like that. In making this video, I wanna say, yeah, I'm, I'm still around, I'm still chugging along, but uh, I won't be back on social media anytime soon, unless you count YouTube as social media. Um, but I did wanna make this video. Hopefully it's helped you or someone you know that might be struggling with a you know social media problem if they've just become a different person since they've been on social media you know, maybe they can get a little bit out of this video. Uh, if nothing else, I wanted to tell my story and I appreciate anybody who's watched it to this point. Uh, if you do want to keep up with me, I will be posting relatively often, hopefully on a weekly basis, just different things. A um, lot less related to writing than it used to be. Um, I will sprinkle in some videos about writing, but mostly I'm focusing on mental health and technology use and different things like that. So thanks again, and I'll catch you next time.